What's up guys, I got another Razor Edge Pro video for you. Um, I took some of you guys' advice and I was able to uh, get this thing finally updated fully. The game itself, uh, Breath of the Wild, and got the latest version of Simu, which is 1.11.4b. Okay, and let me just show you guys what um, hacks we got going on here. Uh, patches. So I got the Any Frames Per Second mod, um, which I got from... Um, one of them, BSOD, yeah, BSOD. Sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, BSOD, and also, like I said, I took your suggestions that uh, you guys gave me. So, to try to get this game to run as best as I could, um, I took off anti-aliasing and uh, depth of field, and we have it running at 540p for now. And I have frames per second plus plus, which I think probably would contradict with this. I don't know. I haven't had time to do much testing because I've been so busy. So sorry for this late entrance uh, of a video that probably should have been released a long time ago. All right, we're going to see how it runs. Oh, and I have all the shaders. So it's going to load a little bit faster than it generally does. I took, again, BSOD's advice in terms of um, getting... Uh, the shaders to be preloaded from the NVIDIA um, folder instead of uh, through, through the um, SEMU folder. So I got that taken care of and yeah, so we're going to try it and see what it looks like. Now I'm going to tell you right now it's not perfect. I mean, still not perfect at this time. Um, very close, but um, uh, not perfect. At the end of the day, it comes down to... Uh, um, the Razer Edge Pro is just not as good as, you know, one of these high-end uh, PCs that can run the game in solid 60 frames per second all the way through. So you got to manage your expectations when it comes to uh, trying to get this game to run. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't mind running it in, in a solid uh, 30 frames per second, but um, it does go up and down and there's really nothing we could do about that. But um, now that we have the shaders preloaded and some patches, we can actually, it is actually playable. I mean, it's been playable since the last couple of updates on the Razor Edge, but this has made it a little bit better. Um, so, just want to get to some gameplay because I haven't been able to do this video. Even though I meant to, it's just been so busy lately. So, I'm glad I'm going to be able to get this thing out today. But I wanted to show it all loading up since uh, there's people out there that... Uh, don't believe that this is actually running on a Razer Edge Pro, which it clearly is, you know, so. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for all you guys' help and suggestions in the last couple of videos. Um, I wouldn't have been able to uh, venture, actually I wasn't really motivated to venture into getting it to run this good to begin with like going through all these mods uh, if it wasn't for you guys with your suggestions so I really appreciate that um, you know keep them coming I got other games that I want to run on Simu but um, this is probably one of the main games I want to run uh, I've tried other games uh, 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 Pokin Tournament runs great uh, with some sound issues oh you know what I want to check something um, CPU. Do I have it on single core? Yeah, I have it on single core. Yeah, some games uh break when it's on anything other than single core. I notice. Right, as you see, this menu is in 60 frames per second, but that means that we're at a point right now where it can reach up to 60 frames per second, which means it's capable of doing it on the Razer Edge Pro. It's just, it's just the Razer Edge Pro right now isn't powerful enough, or we don't have enough. Uh, options in terms of uh, um, speed that I know of. Um, I pretty much tried everything um, that BSOD had on his videos and a couple of other uh, people suggested. So um, right now, as of right now, this is the fastest I can get it. Um, so let's take a look at it. So we know we can max to 60 frames per second because in the menus, in the intro, all these things were 60 frames. But this is actual gameplay. Um, 
this is if you look at the frames per second it's sporadic from I would say 20 to as little as 12 so it, it goes up and down but see I don't know what that is it wasn't doing this last time it's kind of herky-jerky a little bit so it's not smooth that's the thing so even if it's running at you know it's running at a decent enough frame rate to play but it's not smooth like uh but you can actually play it and get far and I probably should play it so I won't have to show you guys this uh <laughs> these same areas over again I probably should play it and get involved but uh, there are some frame drops as you can see it's not a solid frame rate at this moment at this time let's go into the menu and take a look okay so in the menu sorry the camera is kind of uh, fuzzy so I don't know if you guys see the frames but in the menu it, it, it goes all the way up to 50 50 to 60 um, if we can get that in gameplay in the future, that would be great. But uh, as of right now, this is good enough because 30 feels right or 20 something feels right. But sometimes, like outside right here, it goes to 12, 13, 15. It's pretty sporadic. It's not solid. Um, however, it's still playable. So that's like you know, even though it's the frame rate is kind of bad. At least it's playable. It was not playable uh, a couple of updates ago. So you can actually play it and enjoy it. Um, even if it's not the full speed. If you're trying to play it on something that's not a Nintendo Switch. But as of right now, you want to stick with the Switch uh, on this one. It's a pain in the ass to get the Razer Edge Pro anyway. Um, but um, I really don't know where to go or what to do. Because I'm still, I guess, at the beginning. Um... So this is not, I'm not really a good tester in this type of game right now because uh, I kind of skipped all the tutorial and all that good stuff. So I don't even know where to go um, just to get to gameplay. Oh, they're teaching how to lock on. Also, the controls is like all screwed up, by the way. But um, yeah, it's playable. Um, uh, I'm gonna try to get to a an enemy. I think there's some kind of patch for stabilization when you're fighting enemies. For whatever reason, it doesn't stay stable when I fight an enemy. See, so it gets kind of. Uh, I mean, it's stable, but it's not fast. It's not as smooth as, like, standard. This bastard. Why is he still alive? Oh, he's dead. Yes, I've murdered a, a per, I've murdered an enemy. Thank you. Just wanted to do that for this video. I've killed a man. Unfortunately, he was a good man. He paid his taxes. He did his homework in school. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, this is basically showing that you know, with all these things, all these speed hacks and. Uh, in 540p you can actually play it and enjoy it if this was your only option um but if you have a nintendo switch obviously you want to stick with that it's not better than the switch at this time uh for this game um but it has the potential to get better maybe with a few updates um but i don't think Semu is really going to be working on this game as much because it plays well on most people's computers basic computers I guess but when you're dealing with uh, Razer Edge Pro and you have all these different systems and all these different emulators on here you know you're just happy to be able to play this as well on top of all the rest of the things so I'm pretty satisfied with it and uh, definitely if you have this uh, on the Razer Edge Pro you want to get the uh, uh, the shader patch the shader packs because if it wasn't for that uh, these these will run like crap. All this would be like really slow. But hey, it seems more smoother in this area. I guess when there's not that much tall grass. I need to figure out a way to stabilize the frame weight where it stays at one 
um, solid rate, even if it's a lower frame per second, it's a little bit more smoother when it's actually just one solid frame rate. But that's what that other, um, that's what that patch is for, this one here. Um, the, the one that I put up six to 60 frames. So you're supposed to be like, oh, whatever your base frame rate is to allow it to go on that instead of 60. But anyway, I'm running out of time. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.